My name is Sarah Howard. I'm a sophomore anthropology and neuroscience double major at Emory University, and today I'm going to be presenting about Hamamelis virginiana. Hamamelis virginiana of the Hamamelidaceae family is most commonly known as American witch hazel, but also known as spotted alder, snapping hazel, tobacco wood, pistachio, and winter bloom, and each of these is indicative of a use or behavior of the plant. Um, studies have been performed to confirm the anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and anti-cancer qualities, and thus far, paranthocyanidins and hemomelatanins have been identified as active constituents in terms of these uses. Hemomelis virginiana is found exclusively in the eastern half of the United States, as you can see in this map. H. virginiana is a deciduous shrub, and as you can see in the top right picture, um, it's often formed in a collection of trunks which can grow to be up to about a foot in diameter and the twigs which are an orange or red brown transition from pubescent which means um, they have hair to glabrous which means they're smooth over the course of their lives. Um, the leaves are obovate meaning the base is narrower than the tip um, and the flowers bloom in axillary clusters of four small bright yellow flowers, as we saw in the title slide here. And they tend to bloom after the leaves drop in October or November. And though H. virginiana is widely unaffected by the witch hazel gall, leaf gall aphid and the saddled prominent, which is shown in the bottom right picture, caterpillar, um, that sometimes uses as a host, it does remain dependent on insect pollination. Once the plant is pollinated and the flowers have blossomed, um, a capsular orange-brown pubescent fruit will form, um, and within each fruit are two elongated black seeds that grow to be up to five millimeters long. Um, after the fruits mature in late August, the capsule dries and erupts, expelling the seeds almost four meters away from the plant. And interestingly, um, H. virginiana is the only species in the Hemomelis family that blossoms in the winter. Though I won't be able to cover all of them, H. virginiana was used extensively by the Native Americans, including the Cherokee, Chippewa, Iroquois, Monhegan, Menominee, Potawatomi, Mahican, and Mohawk Indians. The common name of witch hazel um, is strongly tied to the magical features that the plant was believed to have, um, which comes from weech or weese, meaning pliant or fl bendable um, in Old English, um, which is fitting given that the Menominee and Monhegan Indians both used the forked branches of witch hazel as a diviner of water and buried treasure, specifically silver and gold. Um, and in this process, they would take forked branches of witch hazel um, held in each hand, and the location of the water or the treasure was indicated by where the point of the fork dropped to the ground. The Menominee also used it in a traditional medical ceremony known as McGee's um, that would test the potential recovery of an ill individual. And finally, due to the fact that it is very pliant and bendable, um, it was used to create brooms, brushes, and even bows. As expected, Native Americans had their own name for H. virginiana. Um, the forest Potawatomi naming it Bwautit or Paganamig, would steep the twigs in hot water to cure lame backs and topically apply a decoction to keep athletes' muscles flexible and loose. Additionally, H. virginiana was one of seven plants used to prepare a sudorific or sweat-inducing bath. Native Americans also use the plant for numerous other ailments, including cuts, bruises, insect bites, burns, varicose veins, tumors, and hemorrhoids. Um, these inflictions were all commonly treated together with a decoction of witch hazel that was taken in the form of tea three to four times per day. However, the Iroquois also used um, witch hazel to treat asthma and infections of the upper chest and throat. The astringent qualities of the plant were incredibly useful, especially in terms of anti-hemorrhagic uses. Um, they were used to treat heavy menstrual bleeding, bleeding in the mouth and throat, dysentery, and even internal bleeding. And as I've mentioned, um, each ailment was treated with a different preparation. 
Many analyses and studies have been performed on H. virginiana and have identified tannins, volatile oils, and flavonoids to be the three largest constituents of H. virginiana. Tannins account for 9.6% of leaves, um, equating to about 40% of the leaf's dry matter, and 6 to 9% of bark. Um, tannins, such as hemimelotannin, shown at the right, um, is responsible primarily for the astringent qualities of H. virginiana by causing the proteins of the dermis to complex. The volatile oil, um, responsible for the anti-inflammatory qualities, contains 40% aliphatic alcohols, 15% aliphatic esters, 25% generic carbonyls, and up to 0.2% saffron. Um, it was also found that specifically the ketones and esters of the volatile oil are known to reduce inflammation and account for about 0.5% of the leaves and the bark. Finally, uh, flavonoids such as catechins and paranthocyanidins, anodins, which again are shown at the right, have been identified as having many other medicinal uses, um, such as the anti-tumor qualities. Studies have shown that hemomelotannins are active against the formation of tumor tumors by inhibiting apoptosis and DNA fragmentation of healthy cells caused by the tumor necrosis factor. And while hemomelotannins do not have adverse effects on normal colon cells, pentagalloyl glucose, which is another constituent of witch hazel, inhibited both cancer and normal cell growth. Another study demonstrated that hemomelotannins and two proanthocyanidins um, were able to reduce DNA damage that liver cancer cells had caused other soma cells. The paranthocyanidins were significantly more active and further tests revealed that the effects were due to the scavenging activity of the mutagen and this scavenging activity was also found in hemomelotannins which are responsible for the antioxidant properties of the plant and numerous studies have shown that hemomelis extract um, and distillates both reduce um, erythema, which is a superficial reddening of the skin, and general inflammation of the skin. Lastly, in an in vivo study of the herpes simplex virus, type 1, um, Hemomelis virginiana demonstrated significant antiviral activity. And interestingly, the same extract used in that study had a strong antioxidant property that ultimately inhibited the growth of human cancer cells. To date, only two true clinical studies have been performed, both regarding the use of H. virginiana as a topical treatment for skin irritation. In the Wolf and Kieser experiment in 2007, H. virginiana was used on children for the first time and found to successfully treat uh, minor skin injuries, uh, local inflammation, and even decrease the itching associated with diaper dermatitis. However, um, a study earlier in 1995 by Cording et al. had found that Hamamela's cream was no more effective than the original cream that it had been mixed with um, in terms of treating eczema, which is a more severe inflammation and irritation of the skin. Um, however, the subjects did note that it was very well tolerated. Um, so as subjects in the Cording study just noted, H. virginiana is very well tolerated and therefore is generally recognized as safe. Um, the only caveat that is often issued is that one study found that individuals with allergies to the Asteraceae family may also have an allergic reaction to witch hazel, um, as seen in the hand in the bottom left. Um, interestingly, the warning label at the bottom right um, from the CVS witch hazel distillate notes that a doctor should also be consulted if pregnant or breastfeeding. H. virginiana is used in many cosmetic and alternative medicine treatments. Um, for example, shaving cream, mouthwash, toner, and other cosmetic uses use it for its astringent qualities. Um, for example, the center image depicts um, witch hazel facial towelettes. And there are also countless hemorrhoid treatments available um, and relief for sore muscles, such as the lotion seen on the far right. You can also see that Hemomelis virginiana is listed as one of the active ingredients in the lotion. Um, and one of the first products to be sold um, in the Carmen market was Pond's Extract. 
um, popularized by Theron Pond, who learned of the plant from an Indian medicine man and went on to market as a treatment for inflammation, hemorrhages, and other ailments that the Native Americans had shared with him. In conclusion, the use of H. virginiana has been widely documented by Native Americans, and although studies have supported its efficacy as an anti-inflammatory, tumor suppressor, and antioxidant, there is still a great deal of research that can be done regarding its other purported uses. Thank you.